now looking at it, getting ready for this matchup with Golden State. The matchup aside, mentally, what are you looking for from your guys in terms of bounce back? Yeah, we've always bounced back. You know, we have a good group that uh, uh, obviously a tough loss uh, against New Orleans. Um, you know, but uh, you know, I think the guys are ready. Obviously, another great challenge uh, tonight against you know the best team in the league. So, um, no, I think we'll be ready. Pretty obvious the, the challenge defensively. What will you look for, you guys? We talked about the strides you made in that department, but what do you need to do tonight to do your best to contain the Warriors? Obviously, they get the, the three three big scores, three big shooters. So we gotta we gotta slow them down. You know, I think they're seventy five points a game combined. Uh, you know, be two uh, uh, Durant, uh, you know Curry and, and Thompson. So we really gotta do a great job there. Uh, and just you know, focusing on ourselves, you know, just rebounding the ball a little better. We got to we got to do it as a group tonight. Did you uh, have to address to the guys about putting the last game behind them, or you just no. let it happen organically? So I'm going to trust these guys to get their minds yeah. right. And if they don't, that's a lesson in and of itself. Yeah. No, I think that's uh, <clears throat> you know because we had a day off yesterday, so you know if it was a practice <laughs> day or a film day, we. We'd probably go through it, but I wanted them to kind of cleanse their minds, get away from it, and uh, you know, you got to move on to the next thing in this league. So uh, you know, we got we got two tough games coming up, uh, so that's it's it felt like it was time to move on. Is, it, is there anything that you did defensively that was effective against the Pelicans that transfers to today's situation, or is this just a whole different animal? Yeah, a whole different animal, different different. Uh, Obviously, different different type of team. Um, so uh, you know, with their their elite shooting, and, and they also get to the rim too. So um, you know, we, we got a task on uh, at hand, and, and uh, you know, I've been pretty pleased with our defense so far. I mean, it's not elite, but uh, I think it's improving. I like our principles, like our, our, our fundamentals of what we're doing. Um, but uh, like, like you said, great big big test tonight. Kenny, just to follow up, when you're facing a team that's just so great at pull-ups, do you have to change anything philosophy-wise? Yeah, I think you have to tweak some things. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to tweak, but uh, I definitely think uh, you change the game plan. You know, um, you got to pick them up higher first of all. We we kind of pick normally pick up you know teams normally at the at the three-point line, but you got to pick these guys up at the at the five-point line if there's if there's such a thing. So. It extends your defense more, um, but uh, you know we get we get you know Jared Allen and, and uh, Ed back there to, 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 to clean up stuff if they if they do get to the rim. But we really gotta press up and, and, and take away those threes. Kenny, through five games, what do you think has been most consistent, or what are the trends or themes you've seen most consistently from your guys, both positively and negatively? Yeah, let's start with the negative first. I think turnovers have been uh, our Achilles heel so far. You know, you look at our effective field goals percentage, I think we're ninth in the league. So we're, we're shooting the ball well. Uh, I think we're getting, get, you know, getting decent shots. It's just, it's just uh, uh, you know, reared its head against against New Orleans. Just, just got to do better and, and uh, uh, we're working on it. I think it's, it's a combination of throwing different lineups together and, and, and a lot of young players out there. So um, I'm definitely an improvement area. Um, you know the defense has been, you know, like I said, it, uh, I, I like our what we're doing. I, I think we're taking away the three-point line. I think we're much like we did last year, forcing a lot of tough mid-range shots. Um, you know, I, I would say we just got to rebound more consistently. I think that's that's a challenge for us. And Coach Golden State offensively being so talented that one of those teams where you could play great defense again against, but they could still knock down the shot and it can deflate you. How important is a short term memory in a game like this and not letting that affect what you do the next defense? Yeah, great point, Michael. That we, you know, we talked to our guys about that. We, we just, you know, because what happens when teams make tough shots, now all of a sudden guys want to change your scheme and, and they want to do, uh, you know, do different things and, and uh, you know, We'll, you know, we'll, we'll change the scheme when we, when we determine that at a timeout or something. But if they're hitting tough shots, we, 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 we have to stay with it, stay with the game plan. Uh, you know, because when you start, different guys start changing the game plan, that's when they can score 140 on you and then nobody's on the same page. So that, that'll be a big key tonight if we can be resilient enough to, to fight through when they, when they make those tough shots. 
this is a bit of a random question, but what makes Kevin Durant's crossover dribble so uh, effective and, and difficult to defend? I wish we could watch a few clips, you know, although I've seen it enough. Um, I guess, you know, the crossover, you threat, you know, the threat to drive on the first, you know, first dribble, you know, kind of moves you one way. You know, he steps one way, and then he gets you shifted, and then he's back the other way. Um, but, uh, you know, he's got the crossover, and then he gets to his pull-up. And, you know, one, one thing we told our guys, you know, he's going to hit some tough pull-ups, so we, we just can't foul him. You know, that's, that's my concern. You know, get a hand in his face, and you're not going to block his shot, I don't think. You know, he's, he's seven foot, and it's, it's going to be tough to block his, block his shot, so just get a good contest. Kenny, what's your mindset as the opposing coach when, when Clay is struggling the way he is? Is it like at least he's not going to hurt his bad today, or is it like, oh my God, today could be the day? Yeah, my, you know, I think if you, my analytic mind would say it's time for him to, to go off. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how I look at it. And it goes the other way when a guy's super high. You're like, man, it's about time he, he cooled down. I'm almost the opposite, so. Uh, listen, if you, when you look at him, you look at what he's done over his career. Not he's struggling early. It, it's it's going to come back. Um, we got to be locked into him. We know it. Uh, we got to be really physical on all of those off-ball screens, you know, and, and not let those guys get loose. Just a league-wide trend: pace is up, scoring is up. Why do you think it's been tougher so far over the first couple of weeks for teams to to get into that defensive groove? I guess. I think teams are learning how to be more efficient offensively. I think they, you know, we've kind of, I know it's been a discussion in the media, but understanding what what in a, what what type of shots they want. Obviously, a three ball, you know, is is, is huge. I know the uptick isn't that great, but but what goes with the team shooting so many threes is is it spreads your defense out. So now you're. You're chasing those guys out to, to four point land, and now that opens up driving. I know the rim attempts are are, are up, uh, and the fouling's up a little, I believe. So those those are kind of kind of all those combinations. The pace is just, you know, we'll see if you know teams can keep this pace up. It's it's uh, uh, you know after playing New Orleans the other night, or you know I know they tested our transition defense. Was every time it, you know it used to be just off misses, now everybody's running off misses, makes turnovers. So it's just, uh, I think teams have realized that the transition play is such an efficient, efficient shot or efficient action that, that that's, that's causing the uptick in pace. Kenny, what uh, has stood out so far about what Napier's been able to bring in his couple games for you guys? Just what we expected. You know, he's a kind of a microwave off the bench. He uh, can heat up quick, he can score the ball, and then he's competitive as heck on the, uh, on the defensive end. So, uh, <coughs> He's, uh, you know, in a limited time, in a limited minutes we played him, he's, he's uh, really kind of shown us two, two characteristics. Kind of following that up, uh, with him available and rounding into form, I mean, do you take some things, whether it's this game or another game, do you take some things out of the four-guard lineup that you think you can use going forward? And as an aside, I know Rogan is obviously out for this game. Do you have any yeah. clear indication how long that might linger? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's a... It's been intriguing so far. There's not enough of a sample size to, to realize, you know, hey, this is this is going to be great for us. But I think we didn't really play that that small small ball last year, and, and I, th I think understanding where this league is going and the trends, I think it, it can give us an advantage on the offensive end and defensively. I felt like we haven't we haven't been you know um, you know uh, killed on the defensive end. So it's something something we're going to keep looking at and, and keep sprinkling in. During uh, you know during the game, Rodion's uh, will be out out tonight, but uh, improving you know, improving uh, uh, quickly.